we gotta finish what we were saying about what Mario uh, was saying. When people first find out that they are pregnant, it, it's kind of surreal because it's hard to imagine that there's life, you know, forming yeah. within, even as the child forms too, especially even coming up to the due date, there's like a, a level of, what is it? it I guess there's uncertainty and there's, there's fear. There's, there's, a, there's, also, it's so e ephemeral. Someone said, uh, congratulations, uh, like your child just crossed the rainbow line or something. There's so many uh, things in within like Native Americans and um, uh, folklore and stuff about it's just an, a person coming almost from another dimension because they're not here, it's a portal. Yeah, exactly. So I think it was your first trimester and he was telling me, he was like, man, I think actually, you know what happened is it was a Romanian midwife told him that. Yeah. Which was, and she's delivered 10,000 children, but she's saying like, basically, the, you know, the child has the force of the universe behind it and the child is coming. Yeah. So don't worry, the child is coming. Especially when you get past your due date and all that and you start to worry about it, yeah. um, the child is, is going to be here. I think it's just, you have to trust the process, that the process is beyond you because it's such a powerful force behind it. It's the universe. It's it's the 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 child has its own. It's a different soul with its own path. It it has its own force, basically. Yeah. Come on, Sophie. Come on, Sophie. Come on. That's like way up the hill, though, actually. I know. I'm, I'm just going to check it out. There were no ovaries on it because it's a young tree, but you know, I discovered something. I cannot run when I'm breastfeeding because of my boobs. What does that mean? <laughs> I couldn't run. They're too heavy. There's a massive windstorm that just came in because we're up in the hills, so it comes in uh, really intense blusters and it's actually not safe, so we're rushing home right now because there's stuff falling from trees and everything. Her and I actually got caught in one one time. So ever since then, if, if the wind picks up, we, we'd be lying for the house. Come on, so let's go. Let's get home. I met Sophie, uh, we, we picked her up in Colton, and she's, she's a little family. And she's sitting on their porch, and she was about 12 weeks old. She had a uh, her little underbite, so right when we pulled up, I saw her little underbite. And she had a pink ball that she liked, and she liked to sit in the sun. And her original name was Weta, because she was with a Mexican family, and uh, Weta means blondie. So her original name is, is Weta. She's uh, very wise. She's very wise. She's so wise. I always like windstorms. Windstorms blow away everything. They renew things. They're actually a little chaotic too because something could fall on your head. But I think in general, a good windstorm is needed once in a while. Watch, Watch. with me, strong. It is a rock, and it's beauty, and it's melancholy. It is blowing your mind. Sorry about that last uh, little part right there. That's my Jim Morrison imitation. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> So that windstorm kind of took us by surprise because uh, we're up here in the hills. Uh, it's the foothills, but just over this, this area right here is the Angeles Mountains. There's a wilderness there. And, and then so all the, all the storm fronts come up from over you know, the hill. I got pretty scared because there was parts where the palm trees were just really moving and it, one part, this tree was just like coming down on us and I was dunking and running. 
<laughs> yeah, it was kind of oh, intense. It was... And it, can't, it kind of surprised us. It came up on us real yeah. quick. Look, she's still, she's exercising while she's pushing the cart. Look at that. That is one dedicated interval yogi. Yeah, that's kind of nutty right there. All this stuff fell down too. It's a mighty pretty day. Mm -hmm. How you feeling? Did you get sleep last night? Yeah, she started sleeping six hours and then a quick feed of like about 20 minutes and then another, I don't know, four to do six hours. So it's a lot of, it's a lot of time to sleep and work. And then she wakes up all happy and we go up and go up and, oh my God, she said this morning her first, it was, I love you, but she, she yelled it out loud, I love you and she nailed the you for the first time <laughs> oh. do you guys want to see the sleeping dragon's outfit oh it's cherries i have a cherry dress so we can match all of us struggle with body image and i was talking to bettina uh, who is one of my students but now i consider her personal friend i've met her at Dusseldorf on my workshops twice and i've met her here in LA when she was visiting family so I consider her a personal friend we chat a lot online and she said definitely talk about self-image because we all s suffer with self-image body image and especially I'm realizing now because I'm postpartum it's such a it's such a thing a woman has to go through it's so emotional and the emotions from the hormones and the change the uh, the ch the change in your life but even if you're not pregnant we all suffer with body image and i found myself so joyous after giving birth that i just trusted the process and trusted that i'll be the best version and the strongest version of myself for each and every day so if today i'm weak compared to where i used to be i'm still the strongest i can be if that makes sense i'm always trying to connect to the joy of the moment and I'm the strongest I can be but yesterday I had a low day and I doubted the, f the f I had uh, s uh, um, not a self-image but functional body image doubts so I was doubting how strong my body will be how athletic and functional my body will be after all it went through and it was a it was a very emotional day I cried and it was it was very emotional and uh, it made me also realize how many women struggle with the way their body looks after pregnancy, um, the changes in their body, the functionality of the body. And um, it is a hard subject and it's a something that a lot of people don't have support for. So I just wanted to, to say that we all suffer, struggle with it. No one wakes up every morning and feels amazing. No one wakes up and they just always are super confident. We all um, we all have issues or we all have aches and pains, insecurities and struggles. You're not alone. You're just not alone in your struggles. We all struggle with uh, with our life. With we all have to constantly keep finding happiness and keep finding our center our grounding so you're not alone love you guys Where's Jenny? Where's Jenny?